Hello student, I am Gaurav Swasto. Hope you all are fine. As you know that classes are going online, so I am going to explain this chapter. Hello everyone, myself Gaurav Swasto, and today I am going to explain unit 9 that is unitary method. First of all we have to know what is unitary method. A method in which the value of unit quantity means one quantity is first obtained to find the value of any required quantity is called unitary method. Now in solving problems on unitary method we come across two types of variation. The first one is direct variation, second one inverse variation. Now first of all we have to talk about direct variation. Two quantities A and B are set to vary directly if the ratio A upon B remain constant. Now for inverse variation two quantities A and B are set to vary inversely if the product A and B remain constant. Now we will move to exercise that is exercise 9a. Exercise 9a is totally based on direct variation. So first of all we have to see question number 1. If 15 oranges cost rupees 110, what do 39 oranges cost? So cost of 15 oranges is already given that is rupees 110. Now cost of 1 orange so simply we will divide 110 by 15. Now after that we have to find the cost of 39 oranges. So cost of 39 oranges equals to 110 upon 15 simply multiply by 39. Now 39 and 15 can be cancelled by 3. 3 1 is 3, 3 3 is 9 and 3 5 is 15. Now 5 1 is 5 and 5 2 is 10 and again 5 2 is 10. So 22 multiplied by 13 it will come rupees 286 is the answer. Now we will move to the next one that is question number 2. A car can cover a distance of 357 kilometers on 42 liters of petrol. How far can it travel on 12 liters of petrol? So first of all again this is the direct variation we will solve this question by direct variation. So first of all we have to write. In 42 liters of petrol, a car covers 357 kilometers. Now, in 1 liter, car will cover 357 simply divide by 42 kilometer. Now, in 12 liters, car will cover 357 divided by 42 is simply multiply by 12. It will come 102 kilometer is the answer. Now, we will move to next question that is question number 3. If the thickness of a pile of 16 cardboard is 44 millimeter, how many cardboards will be there in a pile which is 71.5 centimeter thick? So first of all, we have to convert 71.5 centimeter into millimeter. So one centimeter, the scale of this one is one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So 71.5 centimeter equals to 71.5 multiplied by 10. It will come. 715 millimeter. Now according to the question number of cardboards in a pile which is 44 millimeter thick is 16. So number of cardboards in a pile which is 1 millimeter thick. So we will divide 16 by 44. So number of cardboards in a pile which is 715 millimeter thick. So 16 divided by 44 is multiplied by 715. When we solve it will come 260 cardboards. Now we will move to next one that is exercise 9b. Exercise 9b is totally based on inverse variation. Inverse variation means the product of two things is constant like a and b is constant. We will see if 48 men question number one if 48 men can dig a trench in 14 days how long will 28 men take to dig a similar trench. So 48 men can dig a trench in 14 days. So a man will dig the trench in 14 is multiplied by 48 days because this is inverse version. So here we are doing the multiplication of two things means first 14 is multiplied by 48. Now for 28 men will dig the trench in 14 is multiplied by 20, uh, 48 whole upon 28 divided by 28 when we solve it will come 24 days this is the answer of first one now we will move to next question that is question number 2 this is question number 2 
A girl can finish a book in 25 days if she reads 18 pages of it every day. How many days will she take to finish it if she reads 15 pages every day? So again, this is inverse variation. Direct variation we are dividing, but inverse variation we are simply multiplying. So here, by reading 18 pages a day, a book is finished in 25 days. So by reading one page a day, it will be finished. Here we are doing multiplication because this is inverse variation. So 25 is multiplied by 18. It will be 25 into 18 days. Now we have to find by reading 18 pages a day, it will be finished in. So 25 is multiplied by 18 divided by 15. When we solve, it will come 5 into 6, it will come 30 days. This is the required answer. Now come to the next one that is question number 3. 1200 soldiers in a fort had enough food for 28 days. After 4 days, some soldiers were transferred to another fort and thus the food lasted for an extra 32 days. How many soldiers left the fort? So first of all we have to write the given things. Period in the beginning is 28 days. Number of days passed equals to 4 days. So remaining period yeah, remaining days equals to 28 minus 4 it will come 24 days. Now the food is sufficient for 24 days for 1200 soldiers. The food will be sufficient for one day for 1200 multiplied by 24 because it is inverse variation. So simply we will multiply. Now the food will be sufficient for 32 days. So 1200 multiplied by 24 divided by 32 when we solve it will come 900 soldiers. Now number of soldiers who left the fort equals to 1200 minus 900 equals to 300. So this is the required answer. Now we will move to the next one that is homework for you all. Solve exercise 9a and 9b from RS Agrawal. Thank you everyone.